everyone welcome back to the weekly vlog welcome to not my bathroom we are currently in KL we're in Kuala Lumpur in Malaysia I'm getting ready to head back but I thought I'd get the vlog started because this is gonna be an exciting roller coaster I hope you're here for it so should we dive straight into what has been going on I got here yesterday I didn't do much I just did some admin work blah 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 the normal stuff that I have to do didn't go out because the weather is not the one. Didn't want to get sick before going home on leave. I'm going to do my hair while I do this, so I'm going to look here. Sorry. Can I put some dry shampoo in? Maybe. Let's put some dry shampoo in. This is what I look like when I'm older. Bear with. That, that just makes it go bigger. So we're heading home this week. But I'm on standby, so I have no idea when I'm going to go. I've got a ticket booked for Wednesday, which is obviously tomorrow. And I've got a ticket booked for Thursday. How do I explain this? The ticket on Thursday is confirmed, so I'm definitely on the flight. But I can try and get on a flight on Wednesday, which I'm trying to do. But that one is not confirmed. So that means we have to go and sit at the airport. The loads are quite full, like, and when I say quite full, I mean like overbooked. <laughs> but I'm gonna hope and pray and wish that I get on the flight. So we're gonna go and sit at the airport tomorrow, see if we get on the flight. Also, I just wanna say, I am on my phone because um, brain cells just didn't work for me. I packed my camera, well, I didn't pack my camera away. I got my cabin bag ready for going home on leave packed my camera and all its chargers and cables and everything and then remembered that I'm coming here. So we're on the phone, hope you don't mind. I have switched it around so I have no idea if I'm in the frame or not. Hopefully this is good on my part. Let's talk about today's flight, or let's talk about this flight. I got here yesterday, obviously didn't go out, I said before I didn't want to go out because it was raining and I didn't want to get sick, not going to risk getting sick when I know I'm going home for 10 days. So I got here and <laughs> fun story is I packed some shampoo to wash my hair while I was here to save me a job when I get back. The shampoo exploded in my bag, in my suitcase. So even if I wanted to have gone out yesterday, I couldn't because my clothes were covered in a full bottle of shampoo. Yes. So that was just fun. So as you can tell, I've not washed my hair because I don't like to use hotel shampoo. Personal preference. If you like to, you do you. That was done. So I've got all my clothes like kind of dry. I washed them, well, I didn't wash them. I just rinsed them in the shower to get the uh, shampoo off. And then what else happened? The flight over was insanely quiet. It was a night flight. So I ended up going to work at half 12 at night i think it was or in the morning whatever way you want to say it so it wasn't a busy flight today is more of an afternoon evening flight so i think it is going to be a bit busy today the flight i think about six hours not 100 percent sure but i'm in the kitchen so i don't mind wow i think that's the fastest i've ever done my hair in my life i'm so proud of myself I do have some bits sticking out but I get away with it because I've got curly hair, it's fine. I thought I'd just start the vlog, say hi. I'm interested to see how this week is going to go. Or should I say the next few days are going to go. I've got so much planned for while I'm home. I'm so excited. I'm going to take my big camera, my big vlog camera, film it all. Mum and dad and sister are very happy with me filming. It's a memory for them as well for me. And I get to share it. Oh, the soap in here. Ew. Disgusting. Everything is literally covered in shampoo and smells like shampoo, which I'm not complaining about. My shampoo is very, very nice smelling, but it's also very annoying because of the full bottle that went everywhere. And it's expensive because <laughs> it's the good stuff. I'm very excited to see how this week or the next few days are going to play out because I'm on standby. And the last time we was on standby was my sister, and that was a Roller coaster and a half, so I'm hoping my experience won't be like that. Ooh. But before that, we do 
we need to do this flight and we need to get to the airport and we need to get on the flight. So let me wrap up here, let me get dressed, get ready and let's head back to Dubai and let's get this week going. I can't wait to go home, I'm so excited. Well, good morning. Happy Wednesday. I don't know if it is happy because there's something going on in my stomach that is not good. It's killing me. I think I might have food poisoning. <laughs> oh my God, right. I was supposed to leave for the airport about an hour ago and I'm still sat here in pain. Oh my God, the thought of like potentially getting on an aircraft is killing me. The flight is overbooked. Um, economy's full right now. Business and first have one space each. So it is worth going to the airport. But I just don't know if I want to go right now. I'm dressed anyway, I'm just doing my hair. I have no idea what it's from. I have an idea, but what is that on my arm? I have no idea where I could have got it, but I have... I have an idea where I could have got the food poisoning from. I have a very good idea where I got the food poisoning from. <sighs> Honestly, right now, all I want to do is curl up in a ball, cry, and go to sleep. Because the thought of potentially not even getting on this flight is killing me. Oh my god, I can't do this. Um, I'm sorry, I'm so great. But I'm home. Okay. It'll be like two seconds away for video. Okay. I look ill. I am ill. <laughs> Come on, kid. Let the dog Where's my doggy? Sky. Sky. Can you look at me? Hello. Hello. Da -da. Oh God. Hello. <laughs> Hello. Been home for five minutes and I'm covered in dog hairs. Welcome home. Sky, can you can you not like? <laughs> Don't jump on me. No. Hello. Nice to meet you too. Hi. Don't hit me. Skype. Can you? No. <laughs> Get off. <laughs> Get your butt out the camera. Okay. Stop, Sky. Sky. Stop. Stop. I'm not well. Leave me alone. Sky, I'm going to kick you out of the living room in a minute. Stop. Stop. Can you not just be a relaxing dog? Are you serious? I don't even know if you can see it, I'm covered in hair. Stop eating your chicken leg. Let me just make it a bit brighter because it's very dark. Are you serious, Sky? We've had to move locations because the dog is a menace. So, let's tell you what happened today. I think the last thing you would have seen was me on the plane or eating my pasty. But before that, you would have seen me contemplating life because I thought I had food poisoning in Dubai. But turns out I do. I have food poisoning, which is fantastic. Some severe pain right now. Survived. We're okay. But <laughs> that's not the end of the drama. That's just the start. So let's get into it. I decided at like... 4, 4.30 this morning in Dubai that I'm not gonna go to the airport. I couldn't even stand up straight. I was crying in the pain, like it was horrendous. So I was like, now nah, I'm done. I'm calling quits, I'm not doing it. I'll miss the flight, I'll catch the next one. Just get some like good sleep. So I did, I put my phone on sleep mode. Who the hell is that? I have no idea who that is. So I put my phone on sleep mode, got myself into bed and 
I got a text at 6.25 saying I'd been accepted on the flight. I was asleep, but I randomly woke up at 6.35 and seen the message, so I decided to go. It was not the best idea on my part and I'm fully aware of that, <laughs> because I live at least 40 minutes away from the airport and the flight closed 30 minutes after I got the text. So yeah, wasn't the best idea on my part, but we did it anyway. The taxi driver got me there at seven o'clock, I think it was. So boarding finished at 7.05. There's a lot of numbers in this at the minute. I went straight to her baggage drop off because I'd already been checked in. I just needed to drop my suitcase off. I went there and by the time I was dropping my bag off, it was 7.07. .07. Side story is the flight that I got on today was like a backup flight. It was, I was on standby, wasn't planned. The flight that I originally booked was for tomorrow, which I was confirmed to sit on. So I put my baggage in, got my tag, sent it on its merry way. I then got to the passport bit and they were like, let me see your boarding pass. So I showed them the boarding pass that I got emailed and it was for tomorrow. Oh, the lighting changed. I started panicking realised I'd checked in for the flight tomorrow and I'm assuming my bag went for the flight tomorrow and at this point there was 15 minutes till departure which was 7.25 they were on and on whether to let me through because if you don't know Dubai airport is massive it's huge so in the end he got off the phone and he was like run you can make it I didn't even ask this guy about my bag I then got to the gate which was I've never run in an airport I never want to run ever again in an airport. It's not fun, okay? But got to the gate. They got me in. That was fine. I was the last one to board. They were waiting for me. And then I asked the guy, I was like, I've got the email for my baggage receipt saying that it's on tomorrow's flight. What do I do? He was like, it's definitely not going to make it today's flight. I was like, right, okay, that's fine. I'll figure it out. I'll just collect it tomorrow. Got on the flight. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> The worst pain I've ever been in in my entire life. Food poisoning. It's not the one. Landed, went to the baggage people in Manchester and they were very helpful. So I filled out the forms and stuff and I was like, can I come and pick it up tomorrow? Like it's on the 3 a.m. flight to land at 7 a.m. tomorrow morning, can I come pick it up? Because I need the clothes because I'm going away on the weekend. It's Wednesday today, by the way. And they're like, no, we don't do collection. I was like, right, I can't do anything about that, so thank you. I will go and cry again <laughs> to my mum who was waiting outside in arrivals. So I go outside, mum's waiting there, it's perfect. Gave her a hug, cried, and then we had to come up with plan B because they said it can be delivered within one to four days, which is either before I go away or after I come back. So. We took an emergency stop in New Look just to pick up a few new bits because <laughs> I've got no clothes here, they don't fit me and everything that I bought for the holiday, like the weekend away that we've got, I got delivered to Dubai and I packed. That also includes, by the way, toiletries, makeup bag, cables, life stuff. Don't have any of it. I literally have the clothes I'm stood in and a pair of jeans because you have to wear smart casual clothes to travel. I just get changed on the flight. Side note. So, do you want to see what I bought to go away with on the weekend? <laughs> because I did a few shops. First of all, I stopped off for some underwear. I'm not going to show you that. I just got some underwear. I then went to Superdrug and picked up some basic makeup because my makeup bag is in my suitcase. So I got the Collection Last and Perfection Concealer. This one in number two porcelain. I got the e.l.f. Lash and Roll Mascara. Never tried it, advertisement did very well. Also, if you can see dog hairs on me, please excuse that. And then I also picked up the, is this e.l.f.? The e.l.f. Eyebrow Pencil in Neutral Brown. Everything else, like blusher, contour, all that stuff I can use from my sister. I just know this concealer is godsend, so I wanted to pick some up. And eyebrows, because Clara doesn't do her eyebrows. She just puts gel, I do my eyebrows. We went to New Look and we did some damage. Are you ready to see what I bought? 
So, some of it was in the sale, some of it was not. I picked up a bodysuit, plain white one, that was six pounds. If I can tell you the price, I will. And I'll also try to leave everything below, if I can. I then picked up another bodysuit in black. This one was eight pounds. It's nice, it's got like the, the metal gold detail. Picked up this oversized blouse, but I thought this was really cute with some leggings and stuff. Show you. It's kind of hard to show. You'll see it in the vlog, what it looks like. This was 15 pounds. Also because I'm at home, my mom and my sister obviously have clothes that I can borrow as well. So like leggings, socks, that type of stuff. Um, I'm just so glad I packed my jeans in my cabin bag. So glad. This was just so cute. I'm so excited to wear it. It is this little blouse jumper got this this was 27.99 i got it in a small i can't believe i picked up a small not gonna lie but then it's also really weird because this is a small this is a large sizing isn't defined by a number it's whatever fits you best i then also picked up two skirts because i tried one of them on and i was like i need the other color so I got a black leather skirt, I don't know if you can see that, and I also got the exact same thing in like the purple maroon colour. And they were $19.99 each. I thought they would be so cute, obviously for the like, for now while I'm home, but also in like winter, maybe when I go to Europe or like Germany for like a Christmas market or something. That fluffy black tight, big jumper, boots, that's gonna look so cute. We're not finished. And then got some basic tops. So I've got a little white one. It's just got like some lace detail. That was seven pounds. I got the same one in the black. And that was eight pounds. Why was the black more expensive? And then to finish off, we got some black tights. I got 40 denier, because I like them quite dark. That's everything I'm gonna be wearing in the next few days because no suitcase. But now, <laughs> I'm gonna go and get on the couch because I am in some serious pain with my stomach. It's calmed down a lot to where it was before, but it's it's paining. It's pain and bad. And I think I know where I got it from. Obviously not gonna name drop it, but I wasn't the only one that got food poisoning. Let's just say that. So that's the, the situation as of now. It's so annoying though because like I wanted to do this like amazing like b-roll shot of going through the airport, chatting to you, shopping and duty free, blah blah blah. But no, there was me running through the airport like a crazy woman, still half asleep. This is literally the hair I want to sleep in. I've not changed it. Not got a drop of makeup on my face. Just not living my best life right now. But it's fine because I don't feel well. I think that's gonna wrap up today anyway. I'll pick you back up tomorrow, hopefully when I'm feeling a lot better and more like myself. Let's hope this bug disappears while I have a good night's sleep tonight. But either way, I'm so happy I'm home. I don't have a suitcase, but it's fine. I'm home. I'll figure out a suitcase. I've got makeup. I've got a sister. I've got a mum that can help me borrow clothes, use makeup, shoes, all that stuff. I just wanted to go pick up a few things that I know were mine and I didn't have to worry about. That's going to be it for today. I'll catch you tomorrow. See you then. Unless the dog decides to do something stupid again and then I'll show you. Are you still being children? <laughs> 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 so we're currently walking to the shopping centre because <laughs> I had a little breakdown because I started packing for the weekend or going away and I don't have any shoes, I don't have any clothes. Mine don't fit. No one's clothes fit me. My clothes don't even fit me. So yeah. It's fine. It's fine. So we're going to go buy some more clothes. We just dropped mum and dad off in the pub restaurant, which is like two seconds away from here. So we're gonna go meet them after, have some nice food, and hopefully find some shoes before that. 
<laughs> Hopefully. We went to New Look again. <laughs> it's fine. <laughs> but we got shoes, I got a black pair, a brown pair, more underwear. She got a cardigan and a pair of shoes. <laughs> We're back home. We made it. We ended up going for a Indian instead, so we went back to the pub restaurant that we left mum and dad at. After we went to New Look, got stuff, ended up going to an Indian restaurant. It was beautiful, would highly recommend it. But now we're home, and I am going to end this video here. Because tomorrow is Friday, and we are heading to... I don't actually know where we're going. I just know it's five hours away. S subscribe to find out. And subscribe to find out when I get my suitcase because I still don't have my suitcase. I did get an email saying that it's now in Manchester, so it's in the UK, which is always good, but I don't know when it's going to arrive and tomorrow is Friday, which means it's nearly the weekend, so do they deliver on weekends? Let's find out. I am going to end this video here. Give it a like and subscribe. I hope you've enjoyed and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye!